in Sacramento area of California was desecrated with anti-Hindu messages and this happened last night. This is uh, coming in less than 10 days after the similar act of vandalism took place at the Baps Mandir in New York. The messages included phrases such as Hindus go back and this is prompting concern amongst the local Hindu community and in response the community has also expressed their commitment to standing united against Hey, let's go across to Ankit. He has more details with him. Ankit, a second such incident in less than 10 days coming in, uh, bang in the middle of a very polarized election in the United States. Uh, what are the details you're tracking? And it's also come on uh, both sides of the Prime Minister's visit also right. to the U.S. So it's gone coast to coast, Sagarika. It began in New York 10 days back. A Baps Mandir there was vandalized with anti-Hindu hate. And now in uh, California on the West Coast also, another Baps Mandir. Not only vandalism, but also according to the law enforcement agencies over there, the water lines were cut. And according to the Hindu American Foundation, this was a hate crime. It was no simple act of vandalism. But the response to this by the Hindu community there is one that you would expect from them. It's not like they've taken out uh, vandalism drives on their own. They've held a prayer for peace. They've also got the support of uh, the local uh, representative to the US Congress who has acknowledged that this is a hate crime that has taken place and that there is no place for bigotry in the state of California, particularly in Sacramento where this incident has happened. I'll just show you a couple of tweets and some visuals. Uh, so, first of all, the Sacramento Sheriff, the law enforcement officer over there, he has acknowledged that this has happened. And Rancho Cordova is the local area. And so that police department, along with the Sacramento Sheriff, mm -hmm. are investigating the vandalism being classified as a hate crime at the Baps Hindu Temple in Mathair. Mm -hmm. Detectives and the crime scene investigators are on the scene. They've shared a visual also. We're not showing any visuals of the vandalism because uh, there's a lot of hate-filled messages over there. This is the Baps uh, Public Affairs Twitter handle and they uh, have shared an update about how the community leaders gathered for a heartfelt prayer ceremony at the Baps Mandir in Sacramento, California. Following the desecration of the Mandir, inspired by Mahan Swami Maharaj, we remain dedicated to promoting harmony and standing against intolerance. Together, we will mm -hmm. defeat hate. They've also put out a press release, and the press release essentially carries the same information and also shows pictures. So right. you can see it's a multi-ethnic mix of people, including law enforcement officers, including perhaps also some politicians. And uh, one of the messages, Saga, before I hand it over, that has come in from the Hindu American Association is that uh, some of these people who are propagating this hate against Hindus, they appear to be conflating between the the Hindu community and the government of India. So if you have hmm. some kind of uh, issue with the government of India, let that not uh, temper your uh, views on all Hindus and let you not uh, have uh, uh, hate-filled uh, rants and uh, vandalism drives right. against all Hindus is what uh, the Hindu American Foundation But who also are said. these people? That's the question. And we also have Srinjoy Chaudhary joining us. Srinjoy, a second such act of desecration on the Baps temple in less than 10 days, this time in the Sacramento area. Uh, I know it possibly is too early for agencies and law enforcement authorities there also to come out and make a statement on if there is a link between these two incidents, but uh, what does your assessment tell you? Why is this happening? Well, first of all, if you had an attack or a desecration in New York and you have another one in California, then whoever has, is responsible for it is planning it. So we don't know who they are, but whoever they are, they are doing it very deliberately, very, uh, very, very carefully, mm. in the sense that there is a lot of planning involved. Mm. You have to have people to do it in New York. You have to do, uh, do it in California. You will have to have people to do it. So these are not arbitrary things. Mm. That's the first thing. The second, of course, uh, has to be kept, the thing has to be kept in mind is that the America being a federal country, the state policemen, uh, whether the police in New York, whether the police in uh, California, will have to be involved in it. Okay. And they have to probably get in touch with each other, exchange notes, find out uh, who are responsible mm. for it. Because who knows, there can be a third attack some, somewhere in uh, Chicago or yeah. in, somewhere in Texas. Mm. Because what these people are doing is, attacking mandirs far away from each other right from the fact that one is in new york and the other is in california mm. so the idea is to stop this as quickly as possible and ensure 
that the sanctity of the temples yes. are preserved. Thank you, Shrinjoy, for getting us uh, your perspective. Was it deliberate? Was it planned? Is there a politically motivated group involved? Is this by one person or many? Now, only investigation will throw up all those details, but we are tracking that story. But time now for us to take a short commercial break. Stay with us. We'll be back with the top headlines of the day.